look at all of them. Holy smokes. Oof, look at all them ducks. Wow, I hear some widgeon. Look at that. I don't want to spook them, so we're going to keep rolling. Wow. Yo! <laughs> I am driving here. This is a video that I've wanted to do for so long. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Um, this is a... Uh, do I look happy? I feel happy today. I feel happy, and I think that this is a video that y'all will really, really, really enjoy. Uh, that was a little canal. Uh, all of my clients that have came, I have showed you all that little canal, and it's always loaded, especially if there's snow on the ground, a little bit of ice. Uh, what's the temperature right now? Sitting at 21 degrees. Yeah, if it's that cold, it's going to be loaded with ducks. I'm waiting for cars to go by so we can go to this next little canal here. Uh, you guys are going to love this video, I can guarantee it. Here we are, the next canal. Uh, nothing, just a few mallards. Okay, we better keep rolling, y'all. But this is uh, <clears throat> a couple different topics, a couple different videos all wrapped into one. Uh, we're going to drive around and do a little scouting at my main spots. And then uh, along the way, in between every spot, I'm just going to talk a little bit and inform you guys, you know, an update on Bobby, first of all. Uh, how's things going with me? And then we're going to move on into some sticky subjects that I want to talk about some more. I have, but it has progressively gotten a lot worse. And then we're going to end it at home with my new gun safe. Um, and we're going to load it with all my shotguns. So, long video. If you guys already like this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Uh, help your boy out. Let's get this bad boy over 1,500 likes. If we can get like 2,000 likes, that would be amazing. Just going to let you know. So if you want to help me out, please, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, first of all, I want to say before we get going, y'all have wanted a lot of how-to videos. We're going to be doing them. Yes. Long story short, what I'm going to get into and what I'm going to talk about today is YouTube um, just really pull on the plug on gun channels, hunting channels, my channel in particular. It's really bad. It, it's now what, March whatever, 8th or something? And it has progressively gotten worse and worse. Uh, I know that a lot of you don't like me talking about the money side of YouTube, but guess what? It's my job and it's how I make money for my family. Let me clarify something before a lot of you get some big ideas and you overthink what I just said. When I say I'm not making anything on YouTube, yeah, I'll make some sponsored video money. You know, that helps pay the bills. But uh, as far as ad revenue, what YouTube pays me, no, y'all. No, y'all. And, and it's not because I'm used to the YouTube money. I never really got paid really good YouTube money ever because I am a hunting channel. Let's just repeat that. I am a hunting channel. I have guns, I shoot guns, and I kill animals. Never really made a lot of money here on the old YouTube, but that's okay because Uncut, Uncut Outdoors, I do make decent money over there. And I want to give a huge thank you to Uncut <clears throat> because if it wasn't for Uncut Outdoors, this video would not be possible. So in a way, thank you Uncut for sponsoring this here video. When I said I'm going to be doing the how-to videos, which we're almost to the next spot, give me a minute. I'm going to be putting a lot of how-to videos over on Uncut. It is now, Uncut has surpassed monthly uh, income for me and my family, my household. And I just feel like those subscribers over there, my subscribers over there, deserve, not that you guys don't, but that platform deserves my attention because it is providing for me. Um, YouTube also, but I want to build Uncut. I'm proud of Uncut. Uncut was created uh, by us, YouTubers, that wanted a different platform. Another platform that we couldn't get screwed around on all the time and juked around and you know have to give an arm and a leg and in return for nothing. Get where I'm going with that? It's true. Um, I'm not suppressed over there. Over here I am. 
Over here, I'm silenced. Over here, I'm cornered. Over here, I am have to check little boxes. Or, Do you have firearms in your videos? Is there violence? Is there cussing? Is there racial slurs? Is there anything abrasive that people may not like? Well, it's hunting. There's some people that don't like hunting. Anyways, uh, Uncut Outdoors, thank you for, thank you Flair and, and Rob for letting me be a part of the team over there. Uh, we're going to be doing a huge giveaway over there uh, for two of y'all to come to Sand Hill Flyways this coming season for a waterfowl hunt. And I'm trying to get Flair and Rob to come with on that deal. So if you want to uh, subscribe to Uncut, make sure, please make sure you use my link. My link gives me credit for my subscribers that I put over there. So if you're going over there because of me, please share my link. Give it to your friends. Give it to your family. Have them use that link because, again, it gives credit. And uh, the link is always down in the description below. Every single video, I put it down there. So we are at the next spot. And it's our big water spot. One of my prized, most prized spots that I have. This has to be probably, just like I said, one of my prized spots. My most beloved spot that I lease and that I have the only hunting rights to. I'm the only one that can hunt out here. Let's check it out. Well, here we are. This is uh, where we pull in. I want to give a huge thank you to Randy for doing this right here. Check it out. He made me a road to drive down here. Every time we drove down here during hunting season, it was a pain. We had to back trailers down here and there was big hills. Now he just made us a little driveway just to come on down. Thank you, Randy. He's the owner of this spot and uh, he has treated me amazing. Treated me very, very fairly and very, very, very graciously. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate you so much. But here we are. <sighs> The memories made the last two seasons here. So this is the road that Randy made me. Just come right down and back the trailer straight down here. All my clients, like I said, if you've been here, you know this spot. We put the A-frames all the way back here against this grass and we have this big peninsula. You guys have been here too. I think we did minimum probably, I don't know, Six six hunts here probably, but here we are. This is the bank. We usually line the bank with full bodies, floaters. It's got an awesome shallow entry, and uh, the new boat. Y'all haven't seen the new boat yet. Actually, the subscriber, my subscribers over on Uncut, y'all have seen my new boat. I gave them a sneak peek just because they're part of Uncut. There's perks to Uncut. I'm telling you. I'm moving all the how-to videos over there, uh, a lot of the duck and goose calling videos I'm going to be doing over there. Over there I can do short videos, you know what I mean, like little four or five minute, hey, how to do a feeder chuckle on a duck call, stuff like that. How to get permission from farmers, how to talk to landowners, how to lease something, how much it should cost you. All those things are going to be on uncut. That's part of the perks. But don't speed off too fast, Bob. Uh, we're going to bring the boat here. I'm going to bring the boy and the little girl, my Harper Lynn, my Bodie, and my wife, Beth. We're going to come fishing. I guarantee you there's a lot of good fishing in here. Oh, man. Oh. We're at the next spot. I have to be real quiet. I just, the next spot is the Bass Pond. Y'all have been to the Bass Pond. My boy, Bodie, my little man, this is his Bass Pond. Uh, I have made one video here and it was years ago actually hunting the water. It has the most birds, the most amount of birds that I've seen all season on it right now. It's got some honkers, some lessers, and a ton of ducks. We won't be able to see it here. That's the edge of it. Here's some ducks getting off of it. I had to pull out real fast because I really don't want to spook them. I wouldn't mind going down there one morning and putting a little floater spread out obviously leaving my gun at home and just taking some pictures and making a video for you guys that'd be pretty cool get some uh, big camera nothing but big camera leave the freaking GoPro at home 
Nothing but big camera ducks landing in the decoys, backpedaling. Let me know if you guys want me to do it. I was going to say this, though. This is pretty sad. This is what made me originally think about doing this video. Um, not the gun safe portion, which that'll be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I finally got an actual gun safe. I've needed a big one like this for a lot of years. Uh, but long story short, Uncut has an app, right? Google, sorry, Apple took it, removed it, removed the Uncut app off of their platform. You cannot download the Uncut app, which a ton of time and money and attention was put to that app, creating it, getting it fine-tuned. They removed it for per for, pur for purchase. So when you go to the app store, can't find it. I haven't tried to yet, but that's what I've been told. Um, that's what Flair said. And I haven't got an actual reasoning why they removed it. I'm going to assume, which this is not a statement by no means. I'm going to assume because it's guns and hunting. Um, there could be a different reason, but I don't think so. But who knows? Maybe there is a different reason that I don't know about. But yeah, they removed it off of the App Store. So it just goes to show, it's just, it's not only YouTube, guys. It's not only YouTube at all. Uh, we as hunting YouTube channels, me, <clears throat> me in particular, I'm going to battle these things. And it's not going to stop. It's never going to stop. Big media is completely controlling hunting, guns, anything really having to do with guns, honestly. Um, they don't mind recreation, uh, but anything with guns, they're trying to abolish us. They're trying to rid us. They're trying to rid that media off the face of the planet. They do not want it to exist anymore. And this is why we did Uncut, was to try to get out of that, that threshold, out of that pen you know, out of that cage, and here we are, dealing with it already. Pulling the app down. Next spot. Well, haven't picked up the camera for a couple hours, few hours at least. It's 11.30, and I have found three feeds of snow geese. Now, they're not very big. <laughs> the first one we're gonna look at here, I have permission on this field, uh, we lease this field, and um, I can't get a good look at how many are actually in this field. We've hunted this field a bunch. There hasn't been any geese in it for months. It's crazy, we got this cold snap, the, the cloudy weather like this, and I believe these geese, these three feeds, these white geese have came back south from north. So it's a little bit of cold weather shove from the north, but I'm gonna try to film it. You're probably not gonna be able to see them very well here. The next feed that I actually wanna hunt, I have permission on, and it's a lot bigger than this one, and we'll be able to film it a lot better, but we'll try here. But with the clouds, these geese are gonna stay out in the field all day long. It's spitting flurries and kind of nasty cold weather. There they are. Not very many. I am going to guess. I would guess that there's about 150 in there. I just glassed them. About 100, 150, 175, a lot of them are laid down in that corn so you can't see them. But not a bad uh, solo hunt, you know. This next one I want to do a solo hunt on. And we're going to film it. And if you guys want me to do a solo hunt on this feed coming up, you have to, have to, have to. Number one, whoever's interested in uncut, please go give it a try. It helps me directly. If you guys want to ever help me directly, this is how. Go subscribe to Uncut. Remember, use my link. But number two, help me get this video over 2,000 likes. If this video gets over 2,000 likes, we'll be hunting it. Like, immediately. <laughs> okay, either a lot more geese came to the field since I've been here, or they all moved. We will see in a minute. But here is the feed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop. I don't want to spook them at all. This is the one I want to solo hunt by myself. It looks really good. Yeah, we're not going to be able to stop. 
because I don't want to freak them out. There she is. I am very, very, very... Ooh, there's a lot of grays in there. I can see them. There are some specks, which you got to be careful. But that's not a bad feed, to be honest with you. Especially for a solo hunt. See, here's a hill. This hill goes down. See where those two are out over there? They were down in this bottom out here. But they moved up on the hill. Man. It's going to be really cold in the morning. Like, really cold. Uh, pretty decent wind. Wind chill is going to be like 16. So, being by myself, I'd really like to get out of the decoys in an A-frame so I can be out of the wind, but this field presents hardly any options for an A-frame. So, I'm going to have to get creative. Like I said, if you guys, uh, for one, if you guys can go subscribe to Uncut, check it out. Give it, give it a try. Give it a month try. I promise you're going to like it, especially if you want my how-to videos. I'll have a how-to video coming up literally tomorrow on Uncut. But if we can get this uh, video over 2,000 likes, we'll be doing a solo hunt in the morning. So smash it fast. Make it happen. I appreciate you all. Let's get back to the house, check out the new gun safe, and load it up together. All right, back of the house. As you all can see, uh, I had to do some modifications. I hadn't seen this safe <clears throat> hands-on. I bought it off... Uh, off the internet used I had to take this board out it's a 30 gun safe and 30 shotgun but this is what I'm worried about this is what we're gonna get over with these are uh, most of my shotguns not all of them and we're gonna see if we can get them all to fit this is what I'm worried about with the tube on will it oh yeah it fits good so I had to take that shelf out, that one over there, it was up here, then I had to lift this one up, and it was kind of the support of this, so I'm making it work because I'm a gun owner that has more shotguns than anything else, and this safe, it is a shotgun safe, but not as many, it can't hold as many as easy as I was kind of expecting, but I do like it, here's some features of it, it is a, uh, a Liberty, Centurion. It's a really nice one. 30 gun safe. Uh, the guy that does these up, he does these up. He puts the pouches on them. He puts a dehumidifier in there. He puts two different, hold on, styles of lighting in here. So you get lights. Uh, this needs new batteries, but it's the temperature and humidity uh, reading in there. It's pretty cool. He does them up really good, runs electricity to them. Get them all wired up for you. And uh, now I just gotta make all my stuff fit. That bad boy's gonna be last. That's probably my favorite gun. Let's see if we can get all these to fit in here. This I'm gonna put at the front because I know that I'm gonna be using it. So, oh goodness, easy Bob. This one's gonna go in back. This is one of my retays. I don't use it very much. This is uh, my Impala Plus, very, affordable shotgun i used it in north dakota y'all seen that oh yeah these are gonna fit nice y'all what do we got here another retay i like that retay that's a good one that's one of their new ones it's a three and a half inch gun what do we got another retay this is one of their new ones this is their three inch gun oh yeah these are gonna fit pretty good okay uh this is my new Franke. Brand new, only used it a couple times. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. And then what else do we have? This is probably one of my most, this is my most prized gun. It needs some help. Maybe just cleaned really good. This is my bolt action uh, Stevens 410. I really like it. It is not gonna be quite tall enough. So we're gonna lean you up against there. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What do we got? We got, this is not mine. <laughs> this is Gerald's little pea shooter, 410. Uh, single shot, break barrel. We'll put it at the back right there, out of the way. And then I got my two tube guns, my Franke Affinity that I've always had. It's just a three inch gun. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm going through all the guns and showing you what they are. 
And then here's my SV3 with the tube. I will be using it because I'm sure all of you have smashed that thumbs up button. And we're doing a solo hunt tomorrow. I'm sure you have. Please. Please, come on. I want to go solo hunt. Fred wants to go too. It's going to be cold. <laughs> here's a, probably one of my most special guns just because my wife got it for me. And you all have seen it. It's my Benelli SB320 gauge. Oh man, she needs cleaned. Woof. <laughs> she needs cleaned really bad. I'm gonna have to go through and clean all my stuff up. But there, there we go, right there. All right, most of my uh, shotguns are in there. Looking good. Uh huh. Pretty dark in here, you can't see much. Now! I got some area for pistols, pistols, ammunition down in the bottom, important paperwork. I'm going to end up getting all of our important stuff in here, get it safe. And uh, I really like the new safe. Drop a comment down below if you guys have a preference on safes. Drop a comment down below if you guys have this one. And let me know if I should do anything to it. As far as right now, we got room for one, two, three, four, five, six more shotguns. So. It's about another year. Oh boy, check this out. Oof, nothing but straight ice. Look at that. I'm gonna probably bust my head, whoop. Thank y'all for being here. Like I said, I'm gonna go out in the back shop right now. I'm gonna film a how-to video. Uh, it's gonna be one of two things. How to get permission, my tips and tricks with farmers and landowners. Not having to do with money and paying them or it's going to be best beginner shotgun and choke combination i think that's a good one too check out uncut outdoors it's, it honestly supports me directly this platform that y'all are on right now it's changed a lot and for me personally not for the better and uh, that's why we as hunting creators on youtube started uncut yet again uh we me and my wife were talking about it last night and you know, all these years of YouTube, I've always told her one day, one day, you know, hunting isn't going to exist anymore, babe. This, I'm not going to have this as a job one day, babe. Maybe it's way down the road, maybe not. But one day it's all going to change. And look, it is. It's, this is where it all starts, man. We can't let it be taken away from us. It is our right to own guns. It is our right to be able to hunt. Um, now, I always preach. I preach and I preach and I preach. Um, safety, gun safety, respect, uh, the hunting community don't need any more idiots in it. Put it that way. Makes us look bad. So do your part. Pick up your shells. Pick up your trash. Um, if you're bored this summer, go out on public land and pick up some shells. Lord knows there's going to be a bunch out there on the ground that people left. So thank you all for being here yet again. Uncut will be linked at the top of the description yet again. And uh, again, thank you to Uncut for making this video possible and for allowing me to keep doing my job that you all love and I appreciate that. Thank you all for being here but until next time.